treatment forces continued to pour into Denik from the Vega system, despite the best efforts of PVE and GTA pilots to sting their advance. Although both Vesudan and Terran intelligence analysts predicted that Antares would be the focal point for the next major Shivan offensive, the fleets patrolling in that system have encountered significantly less resistance than expected. The PVE military directorate is beginning to suspect that the bulk of the Shivan fleet bypassed the Antares system entirely, perhaps by using a hitherto unknown jump node. With our forces and then ill equipped to handle a prolonged assault, and any possible reinforcements out of position two systems away, the Sheepin seem to have outmaneuvered us once again. But let this not hinder our resolve. The crew of the PVD Guardian is the equal of any in the entire PVN, and I know that we are up to this challenge. The Lucifer class Super Destroyer has not been sighted since the attack on Rybos War two weeks ago. Although the official expectation is that the Lucifer will attack Antares as originally predicted, intelligence cannot discount the possibility that it will join its forces here in the Denim system. Therefore, the Directorate has ordered us to oversee the evacuation of the populated worlds in Denim. The Terran worlds of SR-5 and Ragbos-4 were caught entirely off-guard when the Lucifer arrived in their systems, and in both cases all lives were lost when the Lucifer bombarded the planets from orbit. There is no reason to believe that the Lucifer will refrain from attacking the Deneb colonies in the same fashion. The PVE will not stand idly by while the Lucifer perpetrates a massacre of innocents. Once Deneb has been evacuated, the Guardian will retreat to the Vesuda system to lend its support to the evacuation of Vesuda Prime already in progress. In a fortuitous case of good timing, the Directorate has announced the conclusion of the Ulysses project. This joint Terran Vesuda endeavor is an attempt to create a hybrid space superiority fighter with the best features from both species schools of fighter design. It is the most maneuverable fighter in either the GTA or the PVE arsenal, and it should enhance our efforts greatly against Shivan fighters, particularly the newly encountered Dragon class fighter. Further information regarding the Ulysses can be found in the tech room. The Guardian has received a full complement of these fighters, and our technicians are currently readying them for combat. The Center Corporation has also completed development of the Thoth Space Superiority Fighter, an offshoot of the Ulysses Project. The Thoth is now being mass produced at the Altairian shipyards, but widespread deployment of the fighter has been hindered by the increased presence of the Hammer of Light in Altair. No Thoths have as yet reached the 13th Battle Group, and it is uncertain when forces will become available to re-establish stability in that system. Finally, the GTA has announced the completion of the Prometheus Cannon. The Prometheus is a new weapon design built from the ground up, incorporating lessons learned from the modification of the Avenger Cannon after the discovery of the Shippens. While it has a slower rate of fire and higher rate of energy consumption than the Avenger, it is capable of delivering a higher rate of damage against both shields and hulls. Although the Prometheus is currently being deployed across the GTA, logistical issues prevent its deployment across the PVE until the conclusion of the Siege of Vesuda, for better or for worse. The Sheepans have now acquired firm control of the Denim Vega subspace node and are preventing any fighters or warships from approaching. Fortunately, the GTA has deployed the GTD Galatea to reinforce our position. The Galatea arrived in Denim just minutes ago and will soon begin a series of strike operations against Sheepan resupply depots in the system. Evacuation of the Denim colonies proceeds on schedule. Officers and other military personnel are being relocated to orbiting installations and warships, while civilians are being transported to Sirius. The GTD Bastion is assisting with the evacuation efforts at Enet 3, which has seen a substantial increase in Sheevan attacks over the past few days. The Bastion's fighters are providing cover for freighter and transport convoys leaving the system, while Keb class transports are ferrying evacuees from the planet's surface to the destroyer itself. Pilots, your mission is to protect the Keb transports as they transfer their passengers to the Bastion. 
Two wins and four transports each are currently en route, and you must ensure that as many as possible survive to escape the sheath and onslaught. You will take Alpha and Beta wings and provide fighter cover for this operation. Delta Wing, from the GTD Galatea, will be guarding the Bastion itself. Once the evacuation is complete, the Bastion will depart the area and you will be authorized to return to the Guardian. We've had a bit of trouble from the Shavens, but nothing too big to handle. Give us a second, we'll have these guys mopped up for you. Engaging now, sir. Good work, pilots. Delta, long range sensors are clear for the moment. Rearm if you need to. Don't worry about us, Alpha. We'll keep an eye on the Bastion while you escort the transports. Great shot! Hostile targets entering the area. Integrity is dropping rapidly. Break into attack. As you wish. Okay. 
Enemy presence detected. Shaven bombers are targeting the transports of them, making the winger priority. Focus now, sir. A Shaven Kane class cruiser, the SC Parvati, has emerged from subspace. Target required. Incoming enemy. Ignoring target now, sir. Delta Wing, your assistance is required at another engagement. Transmitting oh, yeah. jump coordinates now. What the hell, Command? The Bastion's up to her eyeballs in Shavens here. We can't leave now. I must figure with Delta 4, Command. This is highly irregular. 
Cyclo Crate. Delta's first responsibility is to the Galatea and her squadrons, one of which is engaged in an extremely important special ops mission and needs reinforcements. Delta, you are ordered to jump out now. Sometimes I really wonder if command knows what they are doing. Incoming enemy targets. Apologies, Alpha and Beta, but we don't have any other fighters available. You'll have to manage on your own. We can take a bit of pounding while you escort those transports, but try to keep an eye on us all the same. Incoming enemy targets. to attack. Engaging now, sir. This is a All heavy two is down. Hostile targets entering the area. got out of here, so space drives will come online in 60 seconds.
so under a court of confirmed kills, you have achieved the status of AIDS. Well done, pilots. Most of the transports in Lambda and Omega linked up with the GTD Bastion, delivering thousands of refugees to safety. Though the Sheepans launched a savage attack, you met the challenge with skill and determination, defending the innocent from the wrath of the enemy. You also heroically defended the GTD Bastion, even when its own escort was called away on another task. Though damaged and in need of repairs, she remains capable of providing support for our operations. In truth, the loss of the Bastion would have been a far greater blow to us than the loss of a few transports, and the redeployment of its escort was most unwise. Admiral Amentap has filed a formal grievance with Terran Command, denouncing the tactical priorities of the commander of the Galatea. Greetings, pilotings, pilots. Do not be alarmed at the absence of your usual squadron leader. New developments have arisen that require the immediate intervention of the PVE Security Directorate. I am Hirakti, the Security Director assigned to this vessel, and I will be briefing you for your next series of missions. As you may have guessed, the Guardian will delay its return to Vesuda for the time being. I am not currently authorized to disclose the details or objective of this operation, but suffice it to say that it is of critical importance in our war against the Shikans. If we succeed, it will become public knowledge soon enough. Several Terran freighter convoys have established a small cargo depot in a remote area within Deneb. Your task for this mission is to patrol this depot and defend it against any and all attacks. Protect the cargo as you would the Guardian itself. We are awaiting the arrival of additional Terran forces in this system to assist us in the upcoming operation. Upon their arrival, they will deploy their own fighter patrols to assume defense of the cargo depot. Once these fighters relieve you, you will be permitted to return to base. Alpha 2 is doing patrol position. My sensors show no hostiles within targeting range. This depot appears safe for the moment. Affirmative. Oh, 
incoming enemy targets. instructions. Alpha Leader. We are not granted the dignity of our response. Perhaps we are led by a Terran rather than a Persimmon. Alpha 4, peace. If Director Hiraki said this mission is critical to the war effort, then it must be so. Wars are not won by evacuations. A salient point. It was said that the Galatea was launching strike operations against Shiva supply depots. Perhaps her crew managed to capture some Shiva technology. I do not believe the Shivas would care to store their cargo in Terran containers. Then I am at a loss. The Bastion has left the Denim system by now, and the Galatea would not have arrived without sufficient supplies of her own. Who is in charge of this cargo? I do not know. I wish I could read Terran Standard. Perhaps the lettering describes the origin or recipient. have returned with greater firepower. Protect the cargo. Engaging enemy. Hostile target entering the area. Check your aft targeting sensors. has arrived. Don't let them get near the cargo. Alpha Wing, we have had to accelerate our plans. The SD Lucifer just arrived in Denim. Sansa, Lucinda, we are lost. That is not yes, sir. Finally, the new thing works to move quickly, and I must not remain congratulations. For as of this moment, you have been promoted to full members of the PPD Security Directorate. Terran forces are on route to your position. I am not sure whether this promotion is a big thing. Objective neutralized. This is the GTD Legion. Admiral McPherson reporting. Standing by to receive cargo. The GTD Legion? I was expecting the GTD Galatea. You're in good company, pilot. Most people don't even know this ship exists. We represent the best of the best of galactic Terran intelligence, and for that reason it is necessary for us to operate in secrecy. 
Command, all bomber drones report status nominal. Transmitting activation sequence. Alert, the cargo. Insanely army. No, the cargo is not in danger. Those are Terran bombers, yet they are ones which I have never seen before. We'll tell you all about them in debriefing, pilots, but for now keep close watch on them while they land in our hand. They're only running on autopilot, so they can't defend themselves. Affirmative. are safely on board the Legion. Good work, pilots. Return to base. Although the PVE Security Directorate had its doubts, your performance today validated my faith in your squadron. The Rapid Chief in advance forced us to deploy the Terran bombers before your relief wing was available, but you successfully met the additional challenges placed upon you. As a result, the PVE Security Directorate has granted you the privilege of participating in our joint operation with Galactic Terran Intelligence. The Terran bombers you escorted today represent the first prototypes of the new GTB Ursa class, the largest and most powerful bomber in the Vesutin or Terran arsenals. The Ursa was specifically designed to carry the GTM, N1 Harbinger bomb, which will unfortunately conjure up painful memories for many of you of Terran planetary bombardment during the late war. Rest assured, the GTI has promised us that the Harbinger will only be used against sheep and targets from now on. With the successful delivery of a squadron of Ursa bombers to match its complement of Harbinger bombs, Admiral McPherson feels that the time is right to take the fight to the Chivans. The PVD Guardian will have the honor of joining the GTD Legion in a historic first strike operation against the Shivan fleet. Prepare yourselves quickly, your next mission briefing will be held in a matter of hours. Intrepid pilots of the Security Directorate, honored warriors of the Empire, greetings. You have been chosen to fight in what may prove to be the most important battle in the history of Asuda. You will fight alongside the PVD Guardian and the GTD Legion as we launch a direct assault against the SD Lucifer. I will allow you a moment to collect your thoughts. This is a momentous occasion. 
If we are fearless and determined, if we are able to bring our finest skills and our dearest resources to this mission, we will be able to destroy the flagship of the Sheathen Armada before it reaches Visuda. If we succeed here, we will have defeated the single greatest threat we as a civilization have ever faced. The key to this operation is the new GTB Ursa Heavy Bomber, created in a crash development effort by Galactic Terran Intelligence. This gives us the ability to deploy the Harbinger Bomb in tactical engagements against Sheevan forces. Until now, the size and complexity of the Harbinger had limited its use to orbital weapons platforms. Initial encounters with the Lucifer indicated that its sheath shielding system rendered it utterly impervious to all forms of Vasudan and Terran weaponry. Subsequent analysis has shown that this assessment may have been premature. Just as the Sheevan's fighter shielding system could be overcome by the Avenger Cannon, Terran intelligence believes that the sheath shielding system could be harmed by a weapon of sufficient firepower. Our strongest tactical warheads have proven inadequate to this task, but planetary grade artillery may be able to inflict the necessary damage. The SD Lucifer has begun bombarding Denet 3 from orbit, which gives us the opportunity to launch our assault. We do not believe the Lucifer will leave orbit until it has devastated most of the surface with its flux cannon weaponry. In previous engagements, the Lucifer has demonstrated unwavering focus on its primary mission objective, its shielding system allowing it to shrug off any distraction. The PVD Guardian will jump to a co-orbital position to confront the Lucifer at long range and draw off its escort. Omicron and Pi Wings will be tasked with engaging enemy fighters, while allied warships will accompany the Guardian to attack the several support cruisers in the area. Be advised, however, that your goal is to keep the escort occupied rather than to destroy enemy warships per se. The primary objective is to clear a path to the Lucifer itself. Once the Sheevans have been engaged, the GTD Legion will arrive and launch its Ursa Bombers against the Lucifer. This is the balance upon which everything hangs, the Ursa Bombers must survive to deliver their payload. Keep the Sheevan fighter escort occupied at all costs, do not allow any Sheevan fighters to attack the Ursas. If necessary, prioritize the Sheevan fighters over the defense of the Guardian itself. The Guardian will update your mission orders as the situation warrants. A Terran science vessel will accompany the Legion to monitor the status of the Lucifer shields. Our best analyses indicate that the Harbingers will be successful in penetrating the shields and damaging the hull of the Lucifer. If this occurs the Directorate has authorized an all-out offensive. Every available PVN ship must ensure the survival of the Ursa squadron in the deployment of as many Harbingers as possible. If the Harbingers are unsuccessful in penetrating the shields, the Guardian will be ordered to withdraw. We will jump immediately to the Vasuda system and assist in the evacuation of as many refugees as possible. Your choice of craft in this mission is unrestricted. Furthermore, as a gesture of appreciation and goodwill, in our joint operation with Galactic Terran Intelligence, Admiral McPherson has directed his crew to provide us with a shipment of Prometheus cannons and an advanced supply of Hornet Swarm missiles. The Hornet is an improvement over the twin fire fanning, sending a quadruple volley of aspect seeking missiles to their target with deadly speed and accuracy. You have proven yourselves worthy of the challenges set before you in the past, pilots. The Terrans have already solved the engineering problems, and the Directorate has already formulated the battle plans. All that remains is for you to carry out the mission. May the light shine upon us all. By the Prophets. Steady, pilots, take this one step at a time. Engage the Lucifer's escort fighters, and try to draw them away towards the Guardian. Ignoring target. Disregarding your target. Break into attack. Engaging now, sir. Look at that. I hope all of the planet's inhabitants were able to evacuate in time.
quarter of the escort fighters have been destroyed. System jump. Is there another Shiva capital ship in Venev? The Demon Class Destroyer Eva is somewhere in the Venev system, pilot. Fighters from the Galatea are searching for it now.
Begin to attack. This is the GTD Legion. Well done, Vesuv. We have been monitoring your progress remotely. Preparing for launch bombers. Stand by for mission update. Support request acknowledged. This is the GTSC Exercise. We are monitoring the status of the Lucifer Shield. Admiral, you may proceed. Excellent. Launching Alpha and Omega wings now. PVC and Opus requesting fire protection. Target required. This is the PVC Quora. We are sustaining damage from the sheet attack. This is Omega 1. Setting course for Lucifer Reactor number 4. Cross your fingers, everyone. Target. The Lucifer is launching bombers, deploying beta wing. Failure is a minute. What's dark where Ganeshling is targeting the Ursus? Allied warship, begin firing on the Lucifer. We need to distract its turrets from Omega Wing. Attention all pilots, Yama Wind has disabled their engines. We are dispatching repair crews. Reading minor fluctuations in the shield matrix, consistent with previous observations. No damage detected so far. We're engaging an attack. Sir. 
non -weirgo in That's it. The Harbinger is a success. Reactor 4 is damaged. Combo Sacrimonium. That's what I'm talking about. Taking damage. Request cover. Fantastic work, everyone. Omega Wing, continue your attack. All ships, protect the bombers. Warship and cruisers have arrived. Admiral, our situation is becoming precarious. Driver. We only have one chance at this. The Sudan, launching bombers and calling in the reserve warships. I suggest you do the same. Reactor 4's integrity is at 50%. Keep it up. This is like slaying the back of hell with a toothpick. Sensors indicate that almost all of the Harbinger's firepower is being absorbed by the Lucifer shield. Only a small fraction of the destructive energy is able to penetrate to the hull. Combo Sacrum, that's it for my own. Heading back to the Legion of Fury supply. Two bombers in Omega Wing have been destroyed. Pilots, it is vital that you protect these bombers. Reactor 4 is destroyed. One down. Four to go. This is the PVD Guardian. We are launching additional fighters to protect Omega Wing. Target required. Breaking to attack. Acknowledged. Stand by to rearm. Holy shit, they just wasted the Legion. The army procedure complete. GTD Legion, this is Terran Command. Admiral McPherson, do you copy? Incoming jump signature. The SDE that has arrived. Break into attack. This is the Atlantis. Are any of you Zods going to help us out? Engaging enemy. Affirmative. Disregarding your target. Ah! 
ignoring targets. Sensor logs now. All of your bombers have been destroyed. Transmitting new jump coordinates. All remaining GTI vessels return to base immediately. Target required. Engaging now, sir. Allied cruisers, engage subspace drones. The Senate pilots go back to the Guardian at once. Target required. The Guardian has nearly completed repairs to the engine subsystem. Protect her at all costs. We must not lose the destroyer. For the honor of Vasuda. Impressive. Situation. She is preparing to deploy a heavy assault squadron to attack the EVA. Engaging enemy. The EVA is stepping out. Outcome in the You won't get away from us that easily. Once we have a fix on the EVA's new location, we'll blast that destroyer back to oblivion.
knowledge. Stand by to rearm. We are attempting to override the primary control pads to conduct an emergency jump. Pilots, protect us for just a little longer. Incoming enemy targets. Target required now, sir. from our eyes today, and our path forward is cloaked in shadow. Though the Guardian and her crew survived this engagement, we are currently adrift in the Deneb system and unable to come to the aid of our brethren in Besuda. Between the damage to the Guardian's hull and the condition of our navigation and engine subsystems, it will be some time before we are able to return to battle. We can only pray that the evacuation will not be greatly hindered by our absence. With the GTD Legion destroyed beyond hope of recovery, future operations against the SD Lucifer are uncertain. The Ursa Bomber showed great promise in this engagement, as did the tactical adaptation of the Harbinger Bomb, but the Lucifer Sheath shielding system remains a formidable obstacle. We do have one small consolation. Admiral Amentep has just informed me that the GTD Galatea managed to track down the SD Eva elsewhere in Deneb, and her bombers are attacking it as we speak. With most of her fighter and bomber complements spent against the Guardian, she should not prove too much trouble for the Galatea's pilots. There will be no rest for us tonight. We will all be anxiously awaiting the outcome of the siege on Vesuda. The military directorate has promised to keep us informed as best it can. Dismissed. <laughs>